Hello everyone, my name is Douglas McGarry and today I'll be working out a problem on how to solve for the discrete time Fourier transform. So in this problem, you're given an input signal x of k and it is one fourth to the k uh, multiplied by a shifted step function to the right by two. So uh, in order to get this in the correct form so we can take the Fourier transform and apply properties to it, we need to get the whole function into a shifted uh, shifted form. So we need to say x of k equals one fourth, and we need it in k plus two, u of k plus two. But since we added a uh, this k plus two to the top over here, we actually need to divide by what we've added to the top. So it's essentially multiplying by one. And so we solve for this, and it's equal to sixteen uh, times one fourth to the k plus two. Multiplied by a step function, shifted by 2 still. So there's our new uh, x of k. And so now we're just going to create a little table over here uh, on the next page that shows us um, as we apply the different properties to it. So here's this table I was talking about. You first have your x of k and its corresponding Fourier transform. Uh, so our base function is 1 fourth to the k times u of k and it transforms to um, 1 over 1 minus 1 fourth e to the minus j omega and you can just look this up it's a common transform it's in any kind of uh, book or any kind of table you can find online and so now we need to add some uh, use some of the properties that we know so now we, we have a shifted, uh, let's do our shifting property. So it's k plus 2 times u to the k plus 2. And what that does is it just sh multiplies by a factor of e to the j times 2 omega over, and that, that's all it does is multiplies by that, by that factor on top, e to the minus j omega. So this, this right here is all that time shifted in, and this 2 comes from the, the time shift to the right by 2. And so finally, we have a constant on the outside, which is 16 times 1 fourth k plus 2 u to the k plus 2. And since the DTFT is linear, it's just going to be 16 times our previous what we found previously times 2 to the omega over 1 minus 1 fourth e to the minus j omega and that is our answer I'm gonna box it up in red here so you can see it there is our answer thanks guys and I appreciate for I appreciate you watching I hope it helped everybody out leave it leave comments if I found if you found any mistakes and thanks for your time